Welcome to Agriculture Academy. In this video, we are going to take a look at five plants that you can grow in hydroponic systems. We are going to discuss some general rules for growing lettuce, spinach, basil, cucumbers, and beans. Before we dive into the details of this video, we are going to discuss some basic rules you need to consider before choosing your crop. If you would like to download the information presented in this video, then check out our ebook. The link is in the description below. General rules. Before you commit to any crop, select varieties that can grow easily in your climate. This is especially true if you have an outdoor system where temperature and light levels cannot be easily manipulated. Stick to growing summer crops in the summertime and winter crops in the cooler months. If you have a sophisticated indoor system then you will be less influenced by seasonality, but the costs associated with artificial cooling, heating or lighting must be considered, especially if you are a commercial grower. If you are producing a crop that needs to flower before fruit production can begin then rather select self-fertile varieties. This is especially important if you are producing fruit indoors. In these cases pollinators will be lacking and successful pollination will not occur. Self-fertile varieties will produce fruit without cross-pollination. 5 crops you can grow hydroponically. Lettuce. Let's begin with a crop synonymous with hydroponics. Lettuce is extremely easy to grow hydroponically and is the perfect option for beginner growers to get started with. This leafy green grows very fast and has a short life cycle. This is attractive for growers because they can harvest the produce quickly and produce numerous generations of lettuce within a growing season. Lettuce plants are also small enough that they do not require a large area to thrive in. Even small setups will do. One of the benefits of growing lettuce hydroponically is the replacement of soil with inorganic growing media. This means the time, money and effort invested into cleaning soil from the leaves is eliminated, a benefit enjoyed by both commercial and home growers. Some of the most popular varieties of lettuce that you can grow are romaine, but ahead in different colors of oak leaf lettuce. To harvest your lettuce, you can remove all leaves in one go and replace the plants with new seedlings. If you're a home grower then it may be better to remove a few leaves as and when you need them and then allow the plant to regrow. Spinach. Similar to lettuce, spinach is a leafy vegetable. Unlike lettuce however, spinach is a bit trickier to grow well in hydroponic systems. To help ensure a healthy, tasty crop of spinach you can use these tips. 1. Stick to the recommended growing season. If you have an outdoor or non-climate controlled hydroponic system then you will be limited to growing spinach during cool seasons. However, if you have access to a climate controlled setup that allows you to artificially cool your crop in the warmer months, then you may be able to grow spinach year round. 2. Apply your fertilizers specific to the requirements of spinach. Spinach is very susceptible to fertilizer burn when nutrient levels are too high. So rather err on the side of caution and start with low nutrient levels and slowly increase the amount applied to the system. To ensure tasty leaves, reduce fertilizer levels a couple of weeks prior to harvest. At the same time, if possible you can also lower the ambient temperature of your hydroponic system. 3. Manage the light applied to the system. Light within the photosynthetic spectrum varies in terms of wavelength and thus color. Plant growth responds differently to certain wavelengths of light. Blue light encourages vegetative, or foliar growth, which is desirable for spinach production. You can increase the levels of blue light in your hydroponic system by installing blue grow lights or erecting blue shade nets over your outdoor system. Basil. Basil is a fantastic herb and there are almost endless varieties available, each with their own taste, smell, growth habit and leaf color. Growing herbs hydroponically is often more profitable than growing vegetables. To pick the best varieties for hydroponic use, select cultivars that are resistant to foliar disease. If you have a small system, you can also select compact, dwarf varieties. To ensure maximum growth, make sure your basil is cultivated in the temperature range of 18 to 26 degrees Celsius with moderate humidity levels. To increase yield, continuously harvest your basil leaves. This will break apical growth and encourage branching below the pruned area. Cucumbers. A staple in many fridges and diets, cucumbers are one of the easiest crops to grow in hydroponics if you follow some simple recommendations. With rapid growth rates, high yielding capabilities and general resistance to pest and disease, Cucumbers are suited to both novice and expert growers alike. Unlike the other crops mentioned previously on this list, to receive harvestable cucumbers you will need the plants to first switch from vegetative growth to reproductive growth. To encourage flowering, you can manipulate the color of light the plants are exposed to. As mentioned, blue light encourages leaf production. Red light on the other hand promotes flower development, which is crucial for ultimate cucumber production. Cucumbers are also a great option for growers who have limited space in small systems. Thanks to their climbing habit you can install rudimentary trellises in your system and allow the vines to creep upwards, taking advantage of any vertical space. Beans As legumes, beans are highly nutritious vegetables thanks to their comparatively high levels of protein. There are many varieties of beans that can be grown in hydroponic systems, including lima. 
pull, Italian bush and common varieties. Before selecting your variety, make sure you know the difference between determinate and indeterminate cultivars. Determinate cultivars have bushy, compact growth patterns while indeterminate cultivars grow like vines which will require support. Similar to cucumbers, growers can thus exploit the climbing nature of the indeterminate plants by taking advantage of aerial growth. However, if space is limited, growers can rather select determinate varieties. Beans are reportedly best cultivated in ebb and flow and nutrient film technique systems in commercial settings, but home growers can also have success with simple Dutch bucket systems. And that brings us to the end of part one of our series on the different crops you can grow hydroponically. Let us know what crops you would like to see in part two in the comments. Remember your copy of your ebook before you go and we will see you in the next one.